Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Jesse. Today I've got some quick and easy meal ideas for you. We are gonna start out with some taco mac and cheese. This one literally takes 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brown my ground beef and drain that. And then I'm gonna add in my taco seasoning. And my taco seasoning says to add water, so I'm adding in that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add that packet of taco seasoning in and stir that up really well. While that is cooking, I'm boiling my water for my pasta, and I chose to do Velveeta and shells. You can choose any mac and cheese that you want, but I chose Velveeta and shells, so I'm just gonna make that per the instructions. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, now would be a good time to do so. It's totally free and it will just notify you when I upload new videos. And I hope that I am inspiring you so far to make new dishes and just some different ideas because I know we all get stuck in ruts. I know all my girlfriends tell me they need new ideas and we're always looking for them, which I'm in the same boat, hence why I'm making these videos. So hopefully I'm helpful to you. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so once you've got your mac and cheese all mixed up, you're just going to add in that taco seasoned ground beef, stir it up and serve. Seriously, it was that simple, so delicious. So this is a great one for those busy weeknights. Okay, next we're gonna do creamy ranch chicken. So you're just gonna get your chicken breast and go ahead and beat those down with a meat tenderizer. That's what she said to do in the recipe to just make them really thin and tender. So that's what I'm doing. I found this recipe on Pinterest. Loved, loved, loved this one. So definitely don't click out because this one turned out amazing. So you're going to go ahead and salt and pepper your meat. We're going to do this on both sides, but I'm doing one side at a time. You are going to take some Italian seasoning. She says two teaspoons. I don't measure here. I just measure with my heart. So I'm just sprinkling on some Italian seasoning and then I'm flipping them over and doing the same thing on that side. Okay, so you're gonna melt three tablespoons of butter. So that's what I've done here. And I'm just taking this little brush that I have and I'm going to brush that on only one side of the chicken. The recipe states only one side. Not sure why, <laughs> but again, I'm not the best cook in the world. So I just did what she told me to do. So I'm sprinkling that on there real good. Love some butter and I always use real butter. I love real butter. I don't like margarine at all. And then we're going to go ahead and add in three tablespoons of olive oil. You can substitute vegetable or canola oil, but I use olive oil anyway, so I went ahead and used olive oil. You're going to heat that up, and once it's hot, and you want to make sure it is hot, you're going to go ahead and place your chicken into the pan. You don't want to overcrowd the pan, but honestly, I was like, I am not going to make another batch just for one breast. So I kind of did crowd my pan, but it was okay because it worked totally fine. So you're going to cook each one and you are going to do about, I think like four or five minutes on each side. So now that your chicken is cooked on each side for four to five minutes, you're going to add in one and a half cups of milk to that pan, 10 and a half ounces of cream of chicken, one cup of sour cream at room temperature. So I did go ahead and set that cup of sour cream out, which comes out to be one 16 ounce pack of sour cream, by the way. And then you're gonna add in a half a teaspoon of onion powder. I didn't have onion powder, so I just did my minced onion seasoning and it was totally fine. And then one packet of ranch seasoning. I will say that I could not find anywhere in the, in the instructions where she said whether or not we were supposed to take that olive oil out or not. And I went ahead and left it in. I would say probably take it out because you can see how it's kind of separated in my sauce here a little bit but she didn't specify and I wasn't sure. It didn't hurt the recipe at all, but I would probably try to get a paper towel in there and soak a little bit of, out of, at least. But you're gonna go ahead and put that in your chicken back into the sauce and let that cook for about 10 minutes. And then I just served mine with mashed potatoes and green beans. And this one was seriously the best chicken recipe I've ever tried. Okay, now we're gonna do slow cooker chicken and potatoes. I had leftover red potatoes from my recipe that I did last week, so make sure you check out that video. So I wanted to use those up and I thought this would be perfect and we love a good crock pot meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken breast to my crock pot. Of course, use as many as you need for your family. You can use more or less. And then I'm using these green beans. I loved these. This is the first time I've ever used them and I will definitely be repurchasing 
These just had a much different taste than the canned green beans that I typically used. And then you're gonna cut up your red potatoes and place those. She says to place them separately in the crock pot. I'm just following along with exactly what she said. Now, with this recipe, I did read in the comments, a lot of people had some complaints about this recipe and I will say I did too, and I made a mistake. So I'm using lemon juice from the bottle. She clearly stated in there to use fresh lemon juice. Now, I think it still turned out amazing. I really like how this one turned out, but the recipe does call for freshly squeezed lemons. So definitely read through it before you make it, but I will say I do not think that the lemon juice from the bottle ruined it at all, but you are gonna go ahead and add in a fourth a cup of olive oil. It does call for oregano. I didn't have any on hand, so I'm just doing salt, pepper, and my minced onion, and I did the rest of my garlic, minced garlic that I had left. This is just what I had left in the jar, so I went ahead and used it all. I would say my notes for this are to just season with the things that you like and just put as much as you think. And then you're gonna mix that all together in that bowl and pour that over the top. I freaked out a little here because I was thinking like this wouldn't really get on the chicken and the chicken would be bland, but it actually did season the chicken. That was one complaint amongst some of the people in the comments that this was kind of bland. So definitely add in that seasoning. Don't be afraid. Use what you like, but you're going to go ahead and put that on low or high, depending on your crock pot for about six hours. You just want to get that chicken cooked and those potatoes soft. This was so good. It was such a healthy home cooked meal. Really, really liked this, but definitely read through that recipe. I will have it pinned for you. Okay, before we get started with our next meal, I'm gonna go ahead and make some salad dressing. You just take this ranch packet here and you add a cup of milk and a cup of mayonnaise. If you've never made ranch dressing this way, I highly recommend trying it because it's definitely way better than just your prepackaged store-bought ranch dressing that you can get. So you just mix that up really quick and cover it and you chill it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes so it can thicken up and it is so good. But we're gonna go ahead and make tortellini bake. This is a quick and easy weeknight dinner. So delicious and so easy to make. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my ground beef in here and brown that. And as it's cooking, I'm going to add in some pepper, some garlic powder, and some onion powder, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. You can add whatever seasonings you like, but these are the ones that I added in today. And while that is cooking, you can go ahead and start boiling your water for your tortellini. You can use frozen or fresh or whatever kind you prefer. I just bought this bag of five cheese and I'm just boiling it per the instructions where, which were about four minutes. And so while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my favorite pasta sauce. It's this Hunt's one because it's smooth. Please let me know in the comments if you know a smooth pasta sauce that your family loves because I don't like chunks in mine, so I have a hard time finding pasta sauces that don't have chunks in them. So let me know if you have one. So you're gonna go ahead and add in your block of cream cheese. I cut mine up so that it would melt easier and stir that all together and let that melt. And then you're gonna go ahead and add in that tortellini once it is cooked and drained and stir that all together. And then you are going to grease your baking dish here. And I'm just using my olive oil spray. And then I'm gonna add in that mixture into this dish. And then I'm going to top it with an entire bag of mozzarella cheese. You are going to have your oven preheated to 350 for this recipe. And you want to go ahead and cook that for about 20 minutes. You're just basically letting that cheese melt. And for the last couple of minutes, if you want to, you can broil it. Um, I did. I like my cheese to be kind of... I guess burnt. I feel like it adds a really nice flavor, but if you don't like that, definitely skip that step. But you're just gonna bake for about 20 minutes and let that cheese melt. And then this is what it looks like. So delicious and served it with a salad and it was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one.